Yeah, I, I think it is a mistake to think of a single AI winning um, or that there will be one sort of mothership AI that we interact with. I think it's it's much more re, uh, reasonable to think of this as there will be millions, like literally millions and millions of individual AIs that we interact with that will be specialized for different things. So whether that's, you know, open AI powered by Microsoft um, or Google with what they're coming out within the next uh, couple weeks and months is apparently going to be amazing um, or whoever the big player is. I don't think it's going to be giant versus giant. I think it's going to be more foundation models that get built. And then we will, we will uh, refine and tune and customize individual deployments. So in the same way that there's HubSpot and Salesforce as CRMs uh, and Pipeliner and all these different companies, you don't say, okay, well, there is only one winner. There's all these different companies that do it. You can say, look, this is the way it's going to be. There's going to be a whole bunch of different features, a whole bunch of different reasons that a different value prop wins in this tool versus that tool. I don't think it's going to be a winner take all scenario. Yeah, I, I would agree with that totally, because not only that, and therefore I would vote it even, are that are the more the open source community is involved, the better it is. Because you see, in that moment, uh, we have right now are over the, almost 100 million uh, programmers alone on uh, the open platform, GitHub, uh, and it's growing because the young population that comes out right now and growing out of schools and universities, they are joining. So we will see very soon in, let's say, 10, 15 years, probably 200 million people. Uh, therefore, I agree with Scott completely. Can I add something too? I think, yeah. Like it, and this will bring it to real world. Like uh, as of right now, like today, July of 2023, you know, one of the things like if you look at ChatGPT, it's better for uh, creative writing and strategic thinking, I think, and creativity. And then if you look at Bard, like Bard is Google's basically chat GPT version, right? Um, there's some really, really good use cases for like, to the second research capabilities. Now, ChatGPT used to have that, but they just disenabled their browser because it was going behind people's paywalls. So I think Google has got a step up on that because A, they have a really large collection from all the search data that they have. Uh, and then there's like Claude, which is Anthropic's large language model that literally just got released, I think it was yesterday or the day before to a public beta. And that that's really interesting as well because that's got, um, there's limits to, chat GPT is like language length in terms of pages of data. And that has like exponentially more capacity. So kind of just to tap into like a couple of use cases that I'm seeing just across those different and then compound it with niche language models. And then I, I think that that gives some a little more illustration of what kind of Scott was talking about. Yeah. And if I may, Claude's a great example there of like, what Claude is, it's a large language model, but uh, they put really interesting guardrails on yeah. that and, and really tuned it in a way that's optimizing for like customer service and support and those kinds of um, uh, deployments. And so you look at that as a perfect example. And, and Ryan, you're right, you know, looking at Bard versus ChatGPT, that's where you're seeing flavors and companies saying, this is what we want to specialize in and optimize for. Mm -hmm. And I think the smart companies like Google, um, you know, they've been working on this in secret for a long, long time. Uh, I mean, DeepMind and, and those sort of labs that they've been doing. So that when when they bring out their their next uh, tool that I'm blanking on the, uh, the internal name of it, but that's going to be a product that they're really proud of and that it's going to really make waves. Anthropic, I think, did a great job as well. Um, I see that as the good version of what the next year and a half looks like. 